Hello guys, Mr. Paradise, Pick and Paradise, and I've got a challenge lock here from Canada. It's from Reddit user Real Tater. He also has a YouTube channel, so go check him out. Real Tater is what it is. That's uh, his. Jesus, this thing is like ridiculous to open. I tried to open it earlier and I had to stop the video. <laughs> I don't have any scissors or a knife. So anyway, <clears throat> I haven't picked much lately. So you guys are gonna to have to uh, forgive me if I fumble around and this is another 55 minute video. But that is, uh, oh, look at that, he's got it in a pack of cards. Uh, I trolled him a little bit and uh, on Reddit and he also does some uh, card tricks and uh, he's into cards and uh, I think he even has like a, an ace up his sleeve, which is pretty freaking rad. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, it's been a while. The last video I did was uh, that of the Gen 5 or Gen 3 quick set. Oh man, this is rad, dude. I love it. Top secret. Um, key must be jiggled to work. Okay, well, we'll keep that right there. <clears throat> and let's see uh, which one's he. Joker. Very, very cool, man. Very nice. Uh, he's even signed it over here. And, uh, Gave us number one. So that's pretty cool. It's a great way of transporting the uh, the Dekines. And I'm going to sign the box or sign the card. Stick this all back in and uh, pass this beautiful lock. Wow, man. Uh, he's done a little bit of work to it here. Nano Protect. Beautiful, beautiful lock. <clears throat> all right, well, let's uh, get us a sip. Bring over the vise, put the screwdriver away. We might not even need that. <clears throat> Got some grinding and stuff on the face of this one. I'm not too sure. Let's get things a little bit more comfortable here. This is a whole new setup. I'm not sure really where I want it and um, how I want it because it's a whole new setup. I'm in a whole nother area. We've got like professional lighting and all kinds of stuff going on. So uh, let's see here. We'll put those up at the top over there. Pull out the old pick case and see what we got. Yep, gonna be 50 thousandths up top for sure. It is big and wide. Man, it's got some play in that thing. <clears throat> and Man, let's see if we can't get something in the bottom of this guy to help pivot off of. Maybe there, maybe. Let's see how that plays out for just a little bit and then maybe I'll go with something a little bit bigger if I need to. And uh, I'm not too sure, man. That looks like a pretty wide open keyway. Whoa, hello. No, I'm not used to big, clunky 25 thousandths. Fireworks going off inside this thing, man. Bop, bop, bop. Really hard clicks. This is that SC4 or whatever it is, keyway that's kind of like big. It's got a big open space on the right or on the left. Oh, that, I think that was an overset right there. Even though with these big loud clicks, like who the hell can tell? But. <clears throat> I'm dropping stuff. You guys can hear it. Now, I think one of my problems with challenge locks is 
I don't go like methodically in order. I just kind of stick around in there and try to see what the pins are saying. And by the time I got it figured out, an hour's already passed. My wife is commenting on my lighting and chair. I no longer do this down in the living room. I've got this set up in a bedroom up in the house and it's just a little bitty bedroom and I got two big huge lights for lighting because I figured you know hey I only film these uh I only record these videos at <clears throat> night and they take some time and I like to get the, the lighting good man I think I just overset those two let's see if we can't Drop those back down. So she come in, she's like, oh, that is awesome. She's just happy that I'm not in the middle of the house anymore with it. Stuck me into a little bitty room. Right. Well, 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 it did not take me 40 or 55 minutes to open that one. It had me on tilt there for a while. Absolutely lovely lock. It's got a beautiful like amount of play in there. Pin one is really fun. Pin two is, is cool. I think that's uh, a little bit of the key, but then I think pin three or four is a problematic pin. <clears throat> so anyway, it's going to be very, very fun to kind of pick this guy. Uh, I mean, to um, play with a little bit more and to uh, gut it. So let's see what we can do. Oh, man. Oh, let's, uh, let's get a little, let's get another little sip of this one. Uh, if you guys are wondering what I'm enjoying tonight, uh, is a Michael Cuvieri. I don't know how to say that shit. Um, but it is beautiful. It is a uh, European whiskey and it's very reasonable. I don't even know what, it, uh, how much it was, but it was very reasonable in price and it's an absolutely lovely drink. It's got nice peat, uh, and, uh, it is nice. Real tater. What a man. What a friggin' fun time there. Okay, so I think that was somewhere right around a 14 minute pick, 14 or 15 minutes, depending on uh, whatever. Extremely fun. Let's uh, get out a Phillips. Oh, Phillips, Phillips. Philip. Philippe. Get to Philippe over here. I don't know, is that on doing that? Yes, that is. This thing is butter, man. What a butter ass lock, dude. It's just so beautiful. Got her all nice and shiny. And so shiny. Okay. Oh, uh, let me give a quick shout out to Jerick's. Uh, I don't know how to say his username, but man, he just picked uh, that Asa today. And uh, man, what a what a beast of a lock. And uh I, uh, he gave me a little bit of credit there. I, I didn't help him for shit, really. <laughs> I told him, uh, float picking, I suck at it. And, uh, put your thumb against the core. Uh, so, yeah, he, he did do that to kind of fine dance his stuff in. So, I'm fumbling around here a little bit because it's been a while since I picked. It's been a while since I gutted. And, uh, we do have the key. That is going to be fucking useless. Uh, let's see if we can't hurry up though, because nobody likes to watch long video. Who likes long video? No one likes them. Everyone likes quick. Come in for quickie, like a young stud coming to do his business and leave. Okay, let's see. So we've got that turned. 
And we've got this little Z bar thing. We don't need ums. We've got this little guy here, which we have to push in before we push through. He's going like this. This one can go here, and blue seems to fit a bill. As you say, uh, how you say in your country, fit bill? Oh, 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 uh, okay, I'm about to break my golden rule and not shim, which would be pretty stupid. <clears throat> I didn't fill any T pins, but you know what? What the hell do I know? I just pick it deluxe. And then see this other little uh, sliver up here. That's gonna, that is gonna cause a problem while gutting. So we need to go back to about there. Slide this shim. We slide them. We slide the shim. We dance them, and we put them through. Now we can see shim off to side is no good, but. I think somewhere in there maybe is okay, and if not, then oh well, we may fuck them up. Okay, are we ready? In three, two, one, we slide them through. We caught the pin there. We did not let this one escape. We got uh, threading. We've got uh, counter mill on one. We've got maybe some honing on two, honing on three, counter mill or honing on uh, four, counter mill or honing on five, and threading on six. We dump them. We go one. Beautiful little pin there. Nice little uh, spooled on one, nice little serrated on two, serrated on three, we go four, another little serrated deeper spool kind, and another little serration there, and another serration on six. Um, you can see where he's filed down here to match the heights to make sure that it turns and operates fine, so I'm assuming that it's going to operate like butter with a key, However, I do not know because I did not use a key. I picked it and I didn't use it for gutting either. Now we need those things called tweezers. Where the hell are the tweezers? They've got stuff everywhere. We're not gonna do well if we don't have tweezers. Okay, I found them. These are my favorite tweezers actually. I just made some. Made them out of some tweezers that I had laying around the house. Okay, pin one. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so this was actually there. So it was up against the spring, so it goes this way. And I'm bidding, been, been, bidding better at this. And this one was touching that, so we turn them. So that is the way it goes. You pull out and you turn, and that is how they go. This is the rule like brushing the teeth. First, you wet the toothbrush, then you put the toothpaste, then you wet it again. This is the rule. Actually, I think it works a lot better if you don't wet it. <clears throat> but for those of you who are sticking around this long, you know that I am a bit of a silly person and I hope, I don't care what I hope for. Okay. Uh, um, he hasn't done anything to the core because there's no uh, tap or access over here and those all look like standard springs in there. I'm not going to go through the trouble of getting rid of those and doing anything to it. So <clears throat> we're going to take a closer look at these. So this guy, maybe if we turned it around, might actually interact more. We could drop those in the core and see really quick. Uh, we've got a nice serrated uh, here on two. It's multiple serrations. Three is like a spool. And then four is one of the spools that I was feeling. It's a little bit of a deeper and more tapered. And then uh, a spool that has some serrations in the middle, which I actually like. They're actually 
that's that's a, a cool technique there. I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but only one side is like a little bit deeper. So as that as that spool kind of travels around in the chamber, you could get caught or hung up on that little groove there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then another spool. So he's definitely removed enough material to meet his blue belt requirement. And the block is an absolute beauty. And it's very, very fun to play with. And I do appreciate it. So uh, check him out. Uh, Real Tater, he's on YouTubies and uh, Reddit. Give him a shout out, man. I'll be posting it. Thanks for watching, guys. Aloha.